Hi everyone, this is Deborah. I'm gonna have to whisper because I am in a house with other people. So, um, this is one of the biggest boats at the White Marlin Open in Harbor Island, 14th Street. This is the gate that you have to go through when you wanna walk as a pedestrian uh, for the um, fishing tournament. And last year there was 208 boats entered. I think Michael Jordan was also there and the payout was 8.6 million. And uh, Harbor Island, I lived there for about five years. They're very strict. You will never find trash or even a cigarette, but it's a very pristine neighborhood. I enjoyed living there. This was my summer home. I also had a winter home. And um, the shrubbery there is just gorgeous. And uh, I think my HOA there was 1200 a quarter. Now that was about 10 years ago. It's probably double that. Now here is some of the boats. I always like looking at them. I used to string ballyhoo uh, and help some of the fishermen. Um, so I'm gonna show you where my condo was. And I had the biggest okay. slip there. I actually rented it out, I think, especially for White Marlin, uh, rented it out for about three grand. That's how much you can get for that really big slip that I owned. The slip was worth 150000 Now, this was many years ago. It's probably double that now. Um, now, there's my unit, number 10. That's where I lived, and it was looked like two, two levels. And... Um, my slip was not that one, but it's the slip right there on that one where it says down the hatch. That was my slip. And, it, and, and what was so great about that slip is that you could bring the boat straight in without doing any fancy maneuvering. Um, so I even had a boat there called Cutting Up because I owned a tree company and I had a gang box. And... Uh, my grandchildren stayed with me there uh, a lot, a lot. They uh, went to the pool um, a lot. And these guys, this is, uh, the tournament is gonna start Monday. This was, this video is taken Saturday night. And uh, as you see all the poles, all of the poles. And uh, they'll be stringing ballyhoo tomorrow uh, it's a certain kind of bait fish for marlin. And they will probably live stream this. If you go under the whitemarlinopen.com, they will probably sh live stream when all the boats start coming in to weigh. And um, I, we will soon get to the scales. I, I think I bought a gang box. I think I recorded them. I They're at Kenny the very King corner of this dock. Now see this boat right here with these three motors. I made a comment to them and I hurt the guy's feelings. I said, you're, I said, sir, your boat is not big enough to even hold a big marlin in the back. And then I talked to him later and he goes, oh, you depressed me. And I said, no, you'll be the one that will probably win. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I thought his boat was kind of small for this tournament, but I did not know that the people on that boat are staying at the same hotel I am <laughs> and they're friends of D. So that, that's, uh, yeah, a little embarrassing, but I was just joking. I said, you know, you'll probably win. So they set up all these little um, booths of people who are like sponsoring this. And uh, now you see that's real grass there. Um, after the White Marlin opened, they actually come in and one day and replace every bit of that sod. I have never seen it because all that grass is going to be dead. <laughs> There'll be so many people um, coming in here. And uh, I always buy the little t-shirts. They're very sought after. 
and it's the 50th anniversary so um i think i, I bought me one this is 50th anniversary white marlin open and so i got a turquoise one a short sleeve they actually have the shirts for women too and for men and they have long sleeves they have hoodies now those are the buckets that all the fishermen get it's like little trinkets and keychains that float so it's kind of cool to get those and here's where i bought me a shirt um but the women's is on the back side uh and here's some of the boats and um we're going to be passing by the real inn which is the only restaurant there and i used to know the owners but someone came and bought bought the restaurant and it's known for this tournament here is known for the orange crushes which is an orange drink i think you'll see the stand in just a minute um they sell jewelry here i have bought some really good prints by guy harvey here uh, some nice watches and beautiful earrings so I went in and had a beer and bought my friend a pina colada. And uh, in just about two days, you will not be able to see this dock. There will be that many people here. It would be, uh, you would have to push your way down the dock. Uh, but I decided to go um, before the crowds came. And there's a swimming pool here, which used to be my swimming pool. And uh, I taught my grandchildren how to swim there. And then I got my own in-ground swimming pool too. So here is the other side of the dock. This Harbor Island has docks that go all the way around. And uh, they're gonna serve food here too. You can get food in the real inn, but you may have to wait a long time with all the people there. So, um, I will just be quiet now and let you enjoy the rest of this video. All right, just a quick note. Uh, when I bought the condo, it was a half a million dollars, and I'm sure it's more than that now. And to get into these Calcuttas takes thousands, and I do mean thousands of dollars. It's, and you have to pay money into each Calcutta 
and um, yeah, if you saw my other video, and I might even put it on this one, I will do where you can click on this case where this one fisherman lost two million dollars because he did not. I don't believe he took the polygraph, and these fishermen have to take a polygraph to prove that they reeled in the marlin by themselves. There's a white marlin tournament and a blue marlin tournament. And, um, yeah, the, the rules are very strict. These fishermen take this very seriously. Yeah, very seriously. And there's my friend Dee. As you see, she's a wonderful person. Um, she's added so much joy to my life, her and her husband.